Huh? We're ranking 12. Jimmy, put that phone away. All right, class, settle down. Pop quiz today on ancient cultures. Who sailed across the Atlantic first? Tim? Christopher Columbus. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. Alex, uh, what was he trying to prove? That the world wasn't round. Correct. And Jimmy, who was the king of Spain when all this was happening? Uh. King George? No, Jimmy, it was King Ferdinand. Jennifer, how long did it take for the Great Wall of China to be built? The answer is about 700 years. Yes, yes, I will accept that. Jimmy, what was the hardest part of the wall? Uh, hmm, probably when the for goodness sake, the bricks. The bricks are the hardest part of the wall. All right, Jeez. Jimmy, I'm really counting on you this time. Let's get this one right, okay? How do you get to Mount Olympus? Well, actually, I don't believe- oh, For goodness sake, get out! Get out! Yeah, he yells nonstop. Hey, uh, I'll take that, please. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. He always takes my phone. It's better just to look down. That's what I do anyways. Okay, so over here we have Europe, uh, Africa, I guess that's Britain there, we have Canada over here, the US, I don't know, that's uh, Spain, no, Me uh, Mexico, uh, friggin' chalk, Europe, Europe, Europe. All right, so, and we have his crown. All right, and what was King Tut's favorite gum? Hi. Do I have something with my teeth now? Where's my boss? Hello, Mr. Whitehead. Please sit down. I'm in the school today doing a conference with all the teachers, and I've specifically received several complaints regarding you. And I'd like to discuss this with you right now. This is news to me. The complaints include unnecessary testing, extremely difficult marking, unfriendly facial expressions, loud and angry tone of voice, as well as a case of bullying. What do you have to say for yourself? I um, don't understand the question, and I won't answer it. Mr. Woodhead, the students do not feel like you get along with them. Is this the case? No, we get along perfectly well. I, I, I would say that on a professional level, we're all... Good friends. Some of the students even feel bullied by you. Jimmy Henderson has complained on several occasions. Jimmy? Jimmy's actually my favorite student. We joke and laugh about things all the time. He hates me. I don't know what I did. You guys never liked me. Can't talk about it. Too emotional. And what about the unnecessary testing? I believe that the only things that I test and teach and there are just the important things that will help these kids in the future. 
I heard that you were asking what King Tut's favorite type of gum is. Well, let me ask you something. Do you know what his favorite piece of gum was? I do not, but I also don't do think... Do you know what uh, food Lincoln ate on Thursdays? I don't see how this answers my question. Thanks to me. When these students are asked these questions in the future, unlike you, they won't be embarrassed by not knowing the answers. Moving on. What about the angry tone of voice? We encourage speaking friendly to these students. They learn best in a positive atmosphere. I also believe in that philosophy. That's why I always have a smile on my face. I promote a positive attitude in the classroom. It's, it's a fun, pleasant place to be. Just a great environment for my students. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for coming in. My pleasure. Nailed it.